surprise, do we get a surprise? A brand new fish. I wonder what I got. It's probably one of my favorite fish I'm looking for. I think this should be, so we're doing an unboxing. This should be the Nile Gooch catfish, another monster fish to add to the collection. So let me go ahead and get him out of here. He came all the way from, where did he come from? Minnesota. So let's get him out the box. And let's see what we got, right? So you guys see the box, I'm gonna open it nice and slow to make sure I don't cut the bag, make sure I'm out of stress. If you notice right now, it's, it's packed pretty well. So you see right here, it's all packed nice and well. I do feel it moving around a little bit. Well, let me take everything out. Heat pack, nice and nice and warm. Ooh, it is nice and warm. Paper towel out. Ooh, he is feisty. And we do have him. He is the famous Nile Gooch catfish. You guys see him there? He's live, he's looking well. It's probably a little cloudy in the water, so there's a lot of ammonia in there. That's like that poop and stuff when they're traveling, they do poop. The pH is low, so I'm going to throw this box to the side, take the lid off the tank. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to let it sit in here for about 20 minutes and let it, the water temperature adjust what's in the bag. Then I'm going to show you guys how to do an acclimation on the fish tank itself. You guys can see that, so I'll see you back in 20 minutes. The 20 minutes are up. The gooch itself, well, I think I'm going to call him Hannibal. Hannibal should be acclimated to the temperature in the water. So what I'm going to do now is the bottom um, for the direction. I set up um, a drip system which means that the pH is lower in the bag because it's been inside here than in the tank itself. So if I just pour it in there, it can die. It, and also, when it comes to anything at, at this point, you never dump aquarium water from where it comes from inside your tank. Your tank is, let's say, clean sheets, right? Your tank is clean, you never dump anything in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my bucket that has some other stuff in there, put it to a side, and I'm gonna just take my blade Without puncturing the bag inside, I'm going to cut the bag that's open inside here. There's about three bags inside this actual thing itself. So I'm going to take out bag one. Take them all out. Perfect. I'm going to throw it to the side. And there's not another bag. There's only one bag inside. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this bag without cutting the films itself. And in the acclimation tank, which you see on the bottom, I'm gonna actually now, bust this open, dump all the water inside here, including the films itself, so everything goes inside. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is put it back inside there, and there's just enough water to cover his body inside here. So, let me show you guys what I mean. So it's just enough water to cover his body. So, you can see right there, he's in the tank itself. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna jump some of this dirty water out into there. That should be just enough to cover his body, okay? Maybe, maybe just a tap it more. There you go, right inside of there. Now, I'm gonna put him down here. Now I'm gonna get the drip system going. So what I'm gonna do, clean water inside here. I'm gonna take this stuff in the hose. Now, the flow is really, really fast at this point. So what I'm gonna do, I want it nice and slow. I'm going to tie a knot around the drip system. So it's almost like a, almost like a trickle. All right, so I'm going to make sure I can see it, the drip system itself. Good, so it's a nice trickle. So we take the camera off and show you guys what I mean by that. So go down here and the drip system you see itself. The gooch is there, on top is the water itself dripping into this tank while I slowly adjust the water temperature. So I'm going to do that and keep dumping some water out, some dumping some water in, so that way the gooch itself is actually acclimated nice and perfectly right. All right? So I'm going I'm to keep doing that into the system. Okay, so I'm back, fish is in there, drip is set up. I just did a quick pH test in my current water here. And the whole point of acclimating a fish is to make sure, you know, ammonia is not going to go in your tank, pH is right, it's breathing well. 
So what I'm gonna do is show you what I'm gonna do on the tank now. So what I'm gonna do is been in there for about five or 10 minutes. A pH vial, so I vial for the water inside there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the drip inside here for a second. I'm going to slowly, slowly make sure that stays inside of there. Come out. Slowly dump some of the old water inside here. Alright, check it again, some of the old water out. Good. Now, I'm going to dump, put the pH again, sorry, put the drip right back in the water, let it drip into the tank. While that's happening, I'm going to put a little vial, a vial in there, and I'm going to test the pH itself. It's too much. Dump some out. And let's see what happens. So, here's the vial I fill up. Here's my pH. I'm going to take that and drop three drops inside here to make sure the pH that's inside here will match what's in the tank. Take this up nice and well. Good. Open it up. And drop three droplets in. One, two, and three. Put the cap back on so it doesn't fall over. And I'm going to grab my bottle cap, shake it up nice and well. And just wait and see. You see already it has changed already. So the pH inside there is actually really, 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 really good. And it's changing here as well. So we should be pretty soon. Be okay, so Hannibal is now acclimated in his tank and he's now ready to be put in his quarantine tank. So the fish is about five inches long, give or take, an uh, inch and a half or inch. Um, what I'm going to do is put in the quarantine tank. The reason why I always do a quarantine tank is that all of us out there are great hobbyists and keepers and depending upon when fish comes through, things can happen. So it can come with diseases, it can come with a lot of things that can kind of ruin a bigger tank. So I always want to activate my fish because I don't want to spend a lot of money on medication. I want to make sure they're healthy, I want to make sure they're okay. And it gives me a way to observe them if they have any issues of ick. Uh, velvet disease, uh, waste away disease, anything, and if that was to happen, I have some paradefense to actually take care of that. So always, always, always quarantine your fish. Always, always make sure it's okay. Observe it. behavior. It's not just observing make sure it has any disease, but behavior. Just like eating at nighttime. What food is like to eat? Um, coming from the pet store, actually online, orders from exotic fish. Um, it likes eating um, shrimp, so I gotta go store some shrimp after this, and then some blood worms, so I'll try to experiment with food, watch the behavior, make sure they're eating. I'm not expecting Hannibal to eat within 24 hours, but over time, I expect him to at least start eating some food, um, and, and hopefully if he eats right away, that's actually an ex excellent sign that it's healthy, it's in shape. Um, some fish take a day or two, um, to eat. I had two fish recently, a uh, peacock bass and um, a parrot. A parrot never ate. I have no idea why. I think it tried, but it just couldn't eat. Maybe I found the wrong food. However, it does happen in the fish hobby. So what I'm going to do is let me put this somewhere first. This is out the way. <clears throat> put that out the way and make sure it's falling ground. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to dump the water into this tank. However, I'm going to grab a net. I'm going to put the net over the bucket itself. Oops, got the water on the ground. And the mixture falls right in the bucket. The net, good. Now I'm going to take the net and slowly put it inside here. It's very, very feisty. So, those that don't know, this is a future monster fish. So, it will get up to feet long, depending upon a lot of the factors, size of the aquarium. That's not really a factor, but size of the fish itself, the environment, and also um, the food I feed it. So my fish is very good food. I'm looking to survive a very long time, bringing a healthy environment. So once Hannibal is acclimating for about three to four weeks, I will move him to the 75 gallon tank over there. I'll shoot a video of that, and there he is. So let's get a quick close-up of Hannibal, see how he looks. And you guys can see a future monster fish is in the making. So let's get a up close look at Hannibal. Let's take a look at him. And there he is. He's in his tank and he's ready to go. There's Hannibal.